हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन यूनाइटेड बी स्टैंड एंड द क्वेश्चन स्टेट सेट गिवन एन एरे ए ऑफ लेंथ एन कंटेनिंग इंटीजर्स एंड देर आर टू इनिशियली एम टी एरेज बी एंड सी यू नीड टू एड ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ एरे ए टू एग्जैक्टली वन ऑफ द एरेज बी और सी इन ऑर्डर टू सेटिस्फाई दैट एरेज बी एंड सी आर नॉन एम टी Let L B be the length of array B, L C be the length of array C. Then L B and L C are greater than equal to one, which means the array should not be empty. And the other condition is that for two indices i and j, C J is not divisor of B I. So let's understand this condition. What this condition means is, suppose I am having one, three. And nine in my array, which is A. Now I need to split it into B and C. So as C J is not the divisor of B I, so we can't assign C to three and B to one comma nine. This will be wrong. So what would be correct? If you can assign one comma three here and nine here. Else, also you can do one thing. You can put one in C. That doesn't matter. As now nine is not a divisor of three, so this case is possible. And if none of the cases are possible, suppose I have elements as one, one, one in the array. So any case is not possible. So we simply would put minus one in this case. Because we can't split the array into B and C because one is a divisor of itself and every number is a divisor of itself. So, from the examples, if you see, we have two 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 as I was giving example of one one one. So, in case of two two two, all the elements are two. Hence, we will output minus one in this case. Now, in case of one two three four five. Uh, The output is three, one, three, five, and two, four. So one, three, five, and two, four are the output. And also we need to output the lengths. So the lengths are three and two respectively. Now, if you see here, one, two, and four are not. The divisors of any of these one three five, so we can split this array. Now, uh, from this, we get an intuition that we can split this array also as suppose one seven seven nine one. This can be one array, and two four can be another array. After this. But if we have a look at this, then what to do with this? It has all even numbers, so we need to see that C J is not divisor of B I, but B I can be a divisor of C J. What I mean by that is the element which is divisor is kept first, so four eight four is put in B. And we can keep here twelve twelve in C. So C is not divisor of B, but B is divisor of C. But that doesn't matter as we do not have this vice versa condition. So here we have an array instead of minus one, and this is the output. So the solution is very simple. Just what you need to think is. If the numbers are same in whole array, then simply output minus one. After this, divide the numbers into odd and even. So when you split into odd and even, so one group of number can be B, another group of number can be C. As here, suppose you have one, two, three, four, five. So in this case. You have one, 
3 and 5 as one group and 2 4 as other group now you can assign b to this you can assign c to this or vice versa so in this case you have split the numbers and you get b and c similarly in this case as i wrote first 17791 can belong to b and 24 can belong to c now if our numbers are all odd or or even then what to do so if the numbers are all odd or or even then just sort the list as 135 is there so i will sort 135 i take the maximum element from this which is 5 so i split this into 13 and 5 here so this is our c and this is our b now in another case where we have 4 8 12 12 4 so the sorted list is 4 4 8 12 so in the sorted list we take the maximum element and the number of times the maximum element occur we will continue taking on the elements in the array so this forms a C so our C will be 12 12 and B will be 448 so in these cases where all are odd or all are even we are sorting the list so that C does not have any divisor of B in it so to make sure that the list is sorted so I hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching